the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey everybody, God bless you. We just had a great Bible study. I mean, I'm talking about the fact is that I, I did a little preliminary session uh, on Saturday. Was talking about the fact is, talking about the affirmative action plan, right? And we talked about the fact is that the Supreme Court said then said, we're gonna just, we just gutted affirmative action because we are a colorblind nation. And you know what? God says that we are all one body. You know, so our body is it's not not talking about the spiritual body that we're all a part of. Is 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 also supposed to be colorblind, right? And also supposed to recognize the importance of every piece of the body. That if one part of the body hurts, and all the parts of the body hurts, and if one part of the body rejoices, and all the parts of the body rejoices, and it'd be great for us to get there to to that point where we all operate as one. We all see things not based on the color of our skin, but the content of our character, and that we don't base our content of our character based on the images or narrative that other people try to put on us as individuals or as a collective group. We're not all racist, we're not all uh, bad or murderous or all that, no, no. We, 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 we special us supposed to be the part of the body of Christ, we operate in love, not in hate. So we, you know, so we covered a lot of the scriptures today, and and uh, we one of the things we covered. First of all, let's make sure I give you the uh, title that we had. Let me see if I can get that up for you. Uh, well, maybe I shouldn't get that up. Let me see. Let me bring it up to the scripture all the way up, and then I'll show it to you. The title uh, that we had is this right here. And it said that, and you see the title when you actually pull up the, the slide, but it said, God is our chief affirmative action planner for eternal life. I made it too heavy because I did one on Saturday. And, and obviously the, what I did on Saturday is different from what I did today. But the bottom line is three, John 3, 16, God so loved the world that he gave his only God's son to whosoever. See, whosoever is not based on the color of your skin, not based on you not based on anything except for you believing. You know what I mean? And maybe we get to the point on society that we recognize people as whosoever in any endeavor that they try to achieve. And then we don't sit there and try to sit there and hold somebody back or, or create, you know, like system, uh, systematic racism or anything else. We're going to sit there and say is that all of us need to look at one of us as one body. You know, just like one nation under God. Right? And so therefore we, we that's what we talked about. It's the subject for the day. And I and I it really brought home the fact is the importance of loving one another. And one of the pieces of the scripture that I like, the, we talked about the uh first Corinthians. Let me show you this real quick. First Corinthians chapter uh twelve, starting in verse twelve. You can see the topic it says body with many members and you know I, I just started with just that read one verse because I just did this introduction is for as the body is one it has many members and all the members of that one body being many are one body so also is Christ we're all those of us that believe and I'm just talking about us as believers and the fact that the importance of us as believers is now the time to let our light shine and show people the love of God. You know, one of the things about that scripture and another scripture we're reading, we're talking about in 1 John chapter 3, and the fact is in the beginning, God wanted us to love one another. And he said, not as that wicked Cain who did the harmful things to his brother Abel, who was a righteous person, and righteous means right standing with God. And all of you that receive right, you're in the right standing with God. But if you have hated you, you have no eternal life abiding in you. And that's what we want to be able to talk about. 
did one of the things about the affirmative action plan, one of the things that Judge Thomas was talking about, the fact is that people sit there and say, you didn't belong here because you're a quota. But obviously, just some people thought you didn't belong here, period. And that's what the affirmative action was, to open those doors where people would say, you don't belong, you do belong. And if we have to create laws or affirmative action to open those doors, then go through those doors. But now, if we say, based on the Supreme Court, that the doors are open, and a person belongs there because of their talent, because of their education, because I don't think you probably know about it, but a lot of schools, based on the school you came from, a lot of the people that was in the front action plan, whether in the visual school, whether in the HBCU school, or whether in Harvard or Yale, they, they're, most of them are gifted, talented people get into MIT and into those schools. And the only difference are the people who don't have the gifts and may not have the education or the talent are those who are from the legacy. Meaning if you went to that school, then you your child has the right to go to that school. So therefore they may not have be a high achiever, but they were a legacy. So what we want to do is make sure that we as a body of Christ encourage and edify one another and do the right thing. So I hope you enjoy this video. We're obviously gonna break it down to part A, B, C, D, whatever it needs to do to complete it. And just listen to the fact is that God has a affirmative action plan for eternal life, meaning whether you are an African American, whether you are European American, whether you're an Asian American, whether you are Chinese American, whether you are Jew or Gentile, God has an affirmative action plan that when you get to heaven, ain't nobody gonna say you don't belong there. Nobody gonna sit there and say you are poor. Everybody gonna sit there and say that it plays God for you and for me to be here then praise God. Amen. So I hope you enjoy the study, and I'll see you when I see you. God bless. Bye-bye. Why? That, why teach your children to do it? Now, we understand about those who are not the children of God. But I'm trying to, I'm hoping I'm trying, well, that's what I'm trying to reach, brother, <laughs> the children of God. And then to let the people that's the, the children. You, you, you have people who are who believe in God and accept Yeshua as their Lord and Savior. Yeah. But do, but do not have this understanding mm. because their mind is still at a child's level. It's like it's like Paul said, you ought to be eating meat. <laughs> you should be eating meat. But you you're not eating to me it's like this. Are you? If you operating, maybe said no eternal life, that means you're not even you're not even on milk. Reality, you 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 may be getting some head knowledge, but you're not getting heart knowledge. It's not in your heart. You're you're still born. Ooh, ooh, did God give you that one? <laughs> <laughs> you still born. You you didn't have life in you. You you were born with no life. Which coincides with what you said when Paul said you need to be taught again. Yes. Because you it didn't take. <laughs> it didn't yeah. take. And and, yeah. and that's that's what we try to say. The, the concern is we want it to take. I'm not if somebody if somebody don't tell you the truth, if somebody don't at least bring the scripture, because because really I guess is what we say is irrelevant, but what the word said is relevant, right? And that's all we're trying to say. And I'm sitting there saying, when you just read the fact is in 15, whosoever hates his brother is a murderer. And a murderer has no eternal life for God's in him. Now, some of you, brother, are going to say, well, who's my brother? Just like, who's my neighbor? Right? Remember that? The Good Samaritan story, right? Well, who's my neighbor? Because he said, love your neighbor as yourself. Love the Lord thy God, two great commandments. Love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, all thy soul, all thy mind, all thy strength. And the love thy neighbors thy self. Those are wrapped up all the commandments. The, the Lord asks, who is my neighbor? Some of you may be asking, do you think that, I, that maybe that's what the, it can't be. 
But is it possible that they're saying this? That's why the dehumanizing, you know, remember that? That's why dehumanizing came into play, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> if you're not human, <laughs> then Christ did not come for you. <laughs> and, and, and we don't have to show you grace. We don't have to show you love. We don't have to show you mercy. We don't have to, 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 to lift you up. We don't have to, to, to support you. We don't have to be kind to you. We don't have to help you exist. We could just, we could slay you like animals. We can, yeah. You property. You're not, you're not, you're not a brother, you're property. But not even animals were slain without a purpose. Or even property that you want to maintain. Yeah. It's treated uh, uh, where it becomes not valuable, right? <laughs> you don't rape your property. You don't rape the animals. You shouldn't. I heard there's some people about the sheep and stuff like that, but you're not supposed to. Yeah, it's reality. That's it. So, but then the problem comes in is how do you, where you get the authority to dehumanize a person? I know where. <laughs> because you didn't create the person, right? You're of the wicked one. <laughs> you are the wicked one because the wicked one will sit there and deceive you to say that you can take something made in the image of God and dehumanize it. That's 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 the gist of it. So bottom line is we're all brothers. Cain 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 even said Cain didn't disavow disavow Abel as his brother, did he? What he, he disavowed is, am I my brother's keeper? No. Wow. Let's see, what do we got here? Hereby we receive the love of God, right? Because of what? 16. It says, because he laid down his life for us. Mm -hmm. And we ought to lay down our lives for the brother. And, and who's my brother? <laughs> who's my neighbor? My uh, neighbor. Ooh. Woo, woo. Now, did you, and, and the question I said is, when we go back to the 1600s, did they have these same scriptures? These scriptures was, was, was there. Wow. Wow. These scriptures were there. They, they, but, they had these. Uh, I, they had I, those. I just, it escapes me to have these these words before you and, and understand them, even at faith value. Not not faith even to get the just faith value. Yeah, deeper, right, right. Uh, at a head knowledge, you should be feeling some kind of way mm, mm. if you are just witnessing yeah. such atrocities. To a to a human, to a human being, yeah. You know, even even let's just say that they were taken as slaves. You know, they should still be treated in a way that is not degrading their human existence. Exactly. You know, they they should be treated as a indentured service servant servant you know you you should not starve them you should not have them freezing in, in freezing temperature or or working in, in heats that are just unbearable mm. Um, mm. And, and, and and just being beaten mm. to achieve a level of harvest Mm. that is extreme mm. that is beyond your capability yes sir uh, it, it is it's just amazing yeah and they had these words to yeah. to to read these words and and, and do the things that they and do the things that did. they did 
And then, so, so, so maybe they just did not read these. Well, the thing about it, like I said, no eternal life, and because if you read down further, um, you, as you keep reading, look, look what happened here. Go keep down. You laid down life with brother 16, 17. It says, but whosoever hath his world's good, and see if his brother have need, and shut it up his bowels of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of God in him? There you go. This is what I just <laughs> got finished saying. You, 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 you take, <laughs> you take to the point of, of wasting mm. and still prevent those who are basically next to starving. Mm. They, they don't even have an opportunity to eat your leftovers, you know, without being persecuted. Yeah. Take the worst of what you, what you are taking, and, 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 and you have no compassion. You don't even share that. You don't even share. When you have somebody who is harvesting and intending to everything that sustains your life and yet you deny them from uh taking part partaking of the same thing mm. 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 and I'm, that's I'm, that's I'm, I'm, I'm just it, it's, it's it's disheartening when you think about it right yeah. but but the reality too is the fact is is, is answering the question. You have no, that person has no eternal life about it. The, 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 your compassion is, and all of us is listening, is to plant the seed of word of God in them. I don't care from, from a, uh, uh, what you call it, from a redneck, uh, from a racist, from a white supremacist, from a black supremacist. You know, it's all across the board. If is to try to get them to see the light you, and let the light shine through you, all of you. I'm talking to everybody because they don't, they're blinded. What, the God of this world? Is that what we really, you know, that's the whole point of it, right? The God of this world is blinded. Yeah. The mind, because it must be the mind, the soul, so that they can't see how they're abiding in hate. They can't see that they need a savior. That's that's what we're talking about. That's where the issue comes from. You know, he said, my little children, let us, 18, my little children, let us not love in what? Word. Right? Yeah. Neither in tongue, but in deed. And in truth, your actions, the devil we're talking about the tree is known by its fruit, your actions should line up with the word of God. What we have done, and I'm trying to tell people as far as being, especially religious people, I call you religious because if your deeds does not line up with the truth, then, then you're a religious person because your deeds should line up with the words that come out of your mouth. Your words, your deeds in the church building should line up with the words and deeds in your car, correct? In your house, correct? In your job, correct? If you do those things, you are operating under the mercy and the grace of God toward yourself and to your fellow man. But if your deeds, and that's what that scripture is talking about, and that's what people look at. They're looking at your deeds. There's people who run away from this church because of your deeds. What does it say? And hereby we know that we are of truth and shall assure our hearts before him. For if our heart condemn us, God is greater than our heart and knows all things. Beloved, if our heart condemn us not, 
then we have confidence toward God. And whatsoever we ask, we receive from him because we keep what? His commandments. Amen. And do those things that are pleasing to his sight, not the Pope of that time. I think the other Pope today is a little better. I, I, I believe. I think that guy is pretty decent. Wow, <laughs> but <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but really, any, anybody with the five, the ministry gifts and church leaders and yeah. structures is always important. But they have to let their deeds line up with their words. And if you don't do that, huh? Uh, here we go into an area of the word where it's been abused yeah because uh 322 mm -hmm. has been abused in this name it claim it uh uh environment you know what i mean um, yeah and this uh, comfortable upside of, of living in this world system this has been used mm. uh, and abused, but it's not even, it's not used for what it's meant for, as far as being taught. Yeah, the thing about things that the things so pleasing in the sight of man instead of God. We receive of him because we keep his commandment. Don't think that because you're, you're, you're living a so-called Christian life that you can ask for homes, cars, and, and better jobs, and, and uh, you know, just wealth, all this other stuff that's that you know has been going on in these local bodies. What this is saying is if you are doing God's will, then whatsoever you ask is according mm -hmm. to his will. Mm -hmm. It's talking about if you keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight, That's then whatever you ask, mm -hmm. you will receive because he is going to provide the provision for his will. And the pleasing in his sight. Yes. I think that's a, that's a, those are conjunctions, right? Yeah. All that and is that you can sit there, I mean, for example, the, the rich man, the rich young ruler, he came running. Matter of fact, even the guy who did the Samaritan thing, didn't he? Yeah. He sit there and say, Lord, what, what do you need to do for eternal life? That was, that was the big said, the center theme of the text. And the, and the Joker sit there and said, well, who is my neighbor? Because I've been keeping all these other things, right? He was keeping all these other laws, right? He said, I've been doing that. And then he asked, well, who's my neighbor? The rich young ruler said, I kept all these laws, Lord, since my youth. And what Christ told him, sell everything you got, give to the poor. Now, what, what's that? You know, if you think about it, this is the scripture where he said that, right? Yeah. If you think about it, the man said he was keeping all the commandments, which is what you just said. And he Check. just gave him another one, and he didn't. <laughs> and you know why? Because I think it goes in line with 22, that last thing. Yeah. Do those things that were pleasing, that were pleasing in his, his sight. sight. Yeah. Meaning, give to the poor and follow me. Because you'll be blessing them. You'll be feeding them. You'll be providing for them, right? Yeah. You do the thing that's pleasing to my sight. But he walked away sad. <laughs> he, walked, he walked away <laughs> because uh, that dog ain't hunting. He, you know, he could have said, Lord, can I give half of it? You know, the Lord would say, yeah. Go feed the poor. You ain't got to do, I ain't asked you to do it all at one time anyway, though. But give to the poor. Because Christ even said, even the, remember their ministry was given to the poor. It was so common that it was given to the poor that when last, when uh, Judas got up from the table, after Christ said, he who dips, <laughs> he who dips what? The bread in the bowl with him? Yeah. 
is is the one. The great thing is they were all dipping in that bowl. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't forget, some of, some of them said, "Is it I, Lord? Yeah, is it I? yeah. Is it me?" But the point I guess I'm saying is that pleasing in the sight, and and we know, and I think everybody can agree, discrimination, hate. That's not pleasing in God's sight. If you can show me that's pleasing God's sight, come talk to me. Come tell us. We not to hear that. But he said, pleasing and in sight. I don't just keep the commandments. And I think that's what some of the, uh, the Pharisees and stuff, Christ was saying is, you don't get the heart of the commandments. You know, the love. Yeah. You, 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 don't, you, you forget all about the love. You just sitting there doing the dogmatic, I checked the box, I did this, I did that, but I showed no love. Let's not forget compassion. That's the whole point. The compassion is, is this part of it. And he said, this commandment, and what, 23, and this is his commandment, that we should believe what? In the name of his son, Jesus, Yeshua, Christ, and love one another as he gave us commandment. So it was the beginning was the commandment to love one another. Yeah. And it was his commandment, new commandment in John 13, 34, to love one another. And I don't think the lynching, raping, enslaving, uh, torturing, keeping somebody from being educated, keeping somebody from going to a Yale school or a Harvard school, or keeping them going from a Division One school, Holy keeping them- Civil liberties. Holding back civil liberty, even in a clip on somebody because you say you'd fear for your life. Uh, following around somebody in the store because you you feel that the narrative is that this person is going to steal. Uh, denying somebody promotion, denying somebody opportunity because of the color of skin. If you if you, you you know the reversal of the acceptance of people, you know it's funny. Discrimination is based on color skin. This system, the, what the Supreme Court was saying is we are a colorblind nation. And if we're a colorblind nation, then we shouldn't be doing things that's not pleasing to God. We should be doing everything that pleases God. Then true equality should exist. Yes, sir. And Christ, we're trying to say yes. If you're not colorblind, I mean, if you are colorblind, then that means you see everything in black and white. Mm -hmm. yep. and, and, and in that fashion, then the law applies equally yeah. to everyone. But you should love one another. Yeah, in other words, you should love everybody. Yeah. Not hate everybody, but you love everybody. And, and the third 24 says, and he that keepeth his commandment dwelleth in him, and he in him, and hereby we know that he abides in us by the spirit that he has given us. That's what we're trying to say as far as a believer, is the fact is you got to remember he has given this to us. So uh, that's critical. Let me let me finish. I know you got to go too. Uh, this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.